Hello, and welcome to this video on creating a correction for a recipient that was originally filed outside of the eFile Magic system. This is to be used in any situation where perhaps you used another um, online filer or you filed the data directly yourself with the IRS and now you need to create a correction and you don't have the ability to do that um, within whatever original system you used to file the data. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify the filer that we're working with. So let's go ahead and go up to two filers and let's check and see which uh, filer we want to work with. In this case, Mike's consulting service is the filer that I want to issue the correction under. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that active. But if I wanted to, I could select activate on any other filer that I have and then load the recipient in accordingly. So at this point, I'm going to go up to three recipients and down to manage. And I'm gonna create essentially a new form that matches the exact data that I filed originally outside of eFile Magic. So I'm gonna go ahead and select new, and I'm gonna enter the information on the original record. And let's say originally I had specified $8,500 in non-employee compensation. Go ahead and save that. So at this point, I've got a uh, form created, a recipient created within the eFile Magic system. It's a 1099-NEC form. It should mirror exactly what I originally reported to the IRS outside of eFile Magic. All I'm gonna do now in order to correct this record and issue the correction directly with the IRS is select Mark Corrected and let's say the recipient's information was all valid, but I entered uh, an incorrect amount. Uh, although if you needed to correct the TIN or the name or any other parameter, um, you would simply change it after selecting Mark Corrected and we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to issue the appropriate correction. So go ahead and enter the correct amount. Let's say it's 6,500 instead of 8,500 and I'm gonna save that. The system's gonna to indicate to me, it's gonna say, hey, um, you know, you're correcting a recipient that hasn't previously been released in our system for processing. Are you sure you wanna continue with creating this correction? Go ahead and select yes. Okay, now we've created in the background a pending correction record. Um, we're not gonna go ahead and file the original. We're only gonna file the correction at this point. So the very last step is to release this correction for processing. So I'm gonna to go to five, release, and I'm gonna specify that I want eFile Magic to print and mail the correction for me and enter my credit card details. And I'm gonna submit this for processing. So go ahead and review the terms and services and if you agree, select yes. Okay, the system's now created an order to correct this information. Um, shortly we'll submit this information to the IRS now and get the correction process for you. So this concludes the video on correcting a recipient that was created outside of the eFile Magic system within eFile Magic. 